setting boundaries is such a huge topic and the most most important part is you have to know what you want and for me this is really the secret behind boundaries that you know this is important to me this is how far I go afterwards it's just a no-go and then as you are very clear and very very aware of what you want it's like magic it it's it's non-negotiable that this boundary is just set in stone and always when some boundaries are overstepped not always maybe but i think in in 99 of the time if your boundary is overstepped you can see that you are not not 100% clear either that you really want it that way. And I'm talking about boundaries with dogs, with children, with partners, even at work, and not the boundaries, you know, in, in really severe situations where another party just oversteps the boundary and it's a crime. I don't talk about these severe situations. I talk about your everyday life where I think we can do so much good when we know what we want. That's my favorite topic in the Toy Academy, in my book, what do you want? And with boundaries, you know, when, when I started to get up at 4.44 to get my me time in my day, with Mika was still a toddler, and I think she was four years old or something like that, and she always woke up at these, in these early hours too and came into the living room and said mama I want to join you I want to play with you and I said no this is my time and I was so clear I think no I I was very 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 clear not the clearest ever in my life but it felt really important to me little girl you can stay in the living room you can take your blanket and your your animals your stuffed animals with you but you are on this sofa not moving and not saying a word it's my time and I do my meditation I do my journaling I do my morning magic I do my yoga and you are not invited to participate and I'm not playing with you that's my, this is my time I was so clear and she accepted it without any any discussions and I can tell you I had a lot of discussions with this little girl we were coming home from daycare by bus and from the bus station to our home. It's only three, a three minute walk, it would be. And we had, like every time, we had a drama, we had a tantrum, we had a meltdown in the middle of this distance. And I had a meltdown too, like I want to go home, but she was sitting on the floor taking off her shoes. And, and we just had a big fight on the street and it was not safe to just leave her there and walk away because the, the cars were passing by like really beside the, the sidewalk. So I had no option then just being in this situation with my little girl. And of course it was not so clear for me to like have the option to just have a smooth going home journey three minutes hello but maybe maybe it would have changed if I would have thought through this whole meltdown meltdown possibility situation with boundary setting too but sometimes it's just not possible if your dog has a zoomy you can yell and shout and have boundaries in place whatever he is just not listening to you but when it's really clear to you like really really clear to you like in 4 44 at in the morning for me my morning time my me time is holy so she accepted it i was teaching for 12 years i was teaching food technologists in a professional school so my students were between 15 and 18 and with them, you know, like three, two, one, now you do this or that and yelling at them, that's not an option anyway. They are grown-ups and grown-ups normally behave a lot better if you respect them and you really um, show them that you are, I, 
Do you say that in English too? Like eye to eye, we say eye on, on the same height of the eyes. So it's with respect. And when I came in after the, the summer holiday when we started new classes, first day of school for them, and I entered the room, said hello, um, nice to meet you. I have two rules for our three years together. And these rules are, you are nice to me, or you treat me nicely, and I treat you nicely. And all the other things, I really want you to use common sense and your own brain. And we don't have like fixed rules. And I don't want to be the policewoman controlling anybody. Of course, when they had to pass a test, I was, I was um, checking that nobody was cheating. But like in the normal life, just having having our uh, lessons, I really, really set the whole tone on common sense, being nice, being kind, and that worked out so beautifully. I couldn't do that in the beginning. It's like when you start to drive a car, you need to check everything and it's not easy at all. But with, with um, more and more years of teaching, I really enjoyed that, like, this is my rule, this is how it goes in my classroom and it worked out so beautifully because I was so clear, like you are kind, I'm kind, no question. And then someday we had an, a meeting, uh, a teacher's meeting and our new boss wanted to have more rules, like we need more rules, we need to control more things and we wrote down or we, we spent a whole day about these rules and I was really like, oh, come on, we, I don't want to do that. We could write, don't hang on the swing on the, on the lamps naked and don't jump out of the window. We need to write down everything, everything what you're not allowed to do. No, let's not have a ton of rules. Just be clear what you want and I think that's the magic the world needs. Also in traffic, if you are very clear and very kind of easy going because you are so clear, you don't say a word to other, other cars or, or people on bicycles. You are, just, you are just you with your mindset of clarity, what you want, you are present, you are in your day. And I swear, or I promise you, if you sit down and write down what do I want in all the situations which are maybe annoying to you or challenging to you, having clarity what you want is so magical and so powerful. And if you think like, what are you talking about? I don't know how to do that. Join the Joy Academy. Join us and... and experience the clarity like in all topics of your life all the spokes of of the wheel of life you know from food and movement and relationships and money and all the things in your life if you gain clarity what do i want what do i want and how what what is my next step maybe you don't know how you reach your big goals you all of a sudden relief really really just discover like, oh, I would love to have this or I would love to have that. You don't know how to get there directly, but you know the next step. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. And with boundaries, it's kind of the same. You find out what you want. You are clear for yourself. Like with my little girl in my living room, it, I was so clear and then it works. I was so clear with my students and then it works if there is a gray zone and people feel like yeah she's yeah that's not not so set in stone and i can promise you there that your boundary will not be respected maybe yes but maybe no so everywhere where you are annoyed in your life go and look there and find out what do i want how do i want to to deal with that situation, what is important to me and what is non-negotiable and that's your boundary. And if you want help, inspiration and a beautiful community, join the Joy Academy. And if you have any questions for the Joy Academy, about the Joy Academy, comment below this video. 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and follow my channel, which is so new now because I had my Swiss German channel and mixed in with English and now it's English only here. It's our living room where you can comment and ask and you can contact me. You can come to our free Facebook group the Joy is My Compass Members Club and have there a beautiful conversation. Let's be together on this journey called life and let's be more and more clear what we want, what you want, what I want so that we can have a beautiful day and a beautiful week and beautiful month and then a beautiful year and a beautiful life in the end and that's the goal. Having clarity, what do I want? and feeling good in your own body, in your own skin and get what you want because you deserve your dream life here and now and in the future. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.